All these images that you are looking at right now were generated using Leonardo.ai and the best part is it is completely free. In this video, I am going to show you how to get access to Leonardo.ai and all the features that it offers. So let's get right into the video. For those of you who already have the access to Leonardo.ai can skip to the timestamps. So to get access to Leonardo.ai, visit Leonardo.ai and then click on get early access. Once you click on early access, you have to fill in the email. So I'm going to fill in the email and then click on count me in. Then you will get an option to join their discord. So just join their discord. Once you are in Discord, under the general section, there will be an introduction tab. Just introduce yourself in one or two lines. Hi, my name is this and this. I've joined your Discord and I really want to use the software Leonardo.ai in order to step up my AI art generation game or anything, whatever you want. After you have introduced yourself, go to Priority Early Access. Here, please fill in the form in order to be eligible for this. So. Just click on this link in order to fill the form. Now fill this complete form and then click on submit and then sit back and relax because it's going to take about one to two days. It can take anywhere from two hours to a few days to get access. You will receive an email through which you can access the Leonardo.ai app. The email that you receive from Leonardo.ai will look something like this. Now in order to start using it, just click on this link right here. And you are in. Once you are in Leonardo.ai, you can look at some of the amazing art that is created using the model. There is a home option, community feed where you can see other people's generations, personal feed where you will see your generations, all the images that you have generated. Training and datasets. This option lets you train your own custom models. We will talk about this in a separate video because this is a bit complicated. Then you have fine tune models. Fine tune model is somewhat like themes. You have different themes to create different style of images. For example, if you want to create photorealistic images, then this model helps you do exactly that. You can create photorealistic images using this model. If you want to specifically create some weapons, then you can use this fine tune model. And then you can click on generate with this model in order to create some weapons of your own. This simplifies your image generation because as all of you know, you need to put a lot of effort on writing your prompts in order to get some amazing looking images. Let's try generating some images using Leonardo Diffusion. This is a fine tuned model with incredible shading and contrast, great at both photo and artistic style. So. In order to start generating with this model, you can click on generate with this model. But if you don't have an idea of what kind of a prompt you want to use to generate your images, then there are a lot of images that you can take reference from. One more good thing about this software is that it helps you create some amazing images using other people's generations. So suppose I want to create a character. I will click on this character right here. This is the prompt that was written in order to get this. And there is an option of negative prompt right here. So these are the things that we don't want in the image. And if you don't know how to write all this, we can remix the same image in order to create our own images. So just click on remix. And you can change the prompt according to your own preference to generate something completely different. So instead of character portrait of Albert Einstein, you can put in any name of any person in order to get something similar to that generation. All these images that I generated were just by changing one or two things in the whole prompt. So character portrait of Hitler or Obama or Leonardo DiCaprio or Dwayne Johnson. So in this way you can generate multiple images of your favorite character and generate something really unique and different. Character portrait of a scientist standing on a stage side profile. If you want a front profile, you can write front profile. If you want a side profile, but you want the character to be looking straight into the camera, then you can write straight in looking straight into the camera after comma. 
Once you have made your changes in the prompt, you can click on generate in order to generate the image. This is the outcome that we got from a portrait of a scientist. Let's go back to the community feed and check out some other images that others have created. So you can remix any image and create something of your own. This image right here looks very creative. I want to remix this image. So I'll click on the image. Click on remix. This prompt is very simple and the outcome was something really creative. So an astronaut with a goldfish bowl full of water for a head. Click on generate and let's see what other images get created. These are some of the images that were generated. Let's try putting in our own prompt and see what it generates. So an old wooden ship stuck in a storm, bottle art, storm in a glass bottle. So I click on generate. And these are some of the amazing images that are generated. Now there are a few other options that I want to go through. You can remove the background of the image. You can upscale the image. You can unzoom the image. You can download the image from right here. So it is better to upscale your image and then download it in order to use it somewhere. Fine tune models make it really easy to generate images. You can browse through fine tune models from right here instead of going back and browsing. You select different style and you'll get different images. After selecting Leonardo select, I clicked on generate with the same prompt and these are the images. And as you see, the quality of these images is not as good as it was with Leonardo Diffusion because Leonardo Diffusion is trained on those particular things. In order to generate images with these other models, you need to write some more details. But if you're not that good at writing your own prompts, you can always use Leonardo Diffusion and some other fine tuned models. You need to experiment and go through all the models in order to know what works best for you. You can set the images, the number of image generations you want, the image dimensions, guidance scale, step count. You can also generate your own prompts from right here. Click on prompt generation, enter a basic idea and Leonardo.ai will generate some prompts for you that will get you some really good results. If you want to directly visit Leonardo.ai and access the image generation, click on AI image generation. And then you can select from any fine tuned model and start generating your own images. Now let's talk about the AI canvas. The AI canvas is a unique feature which lets you edit images in a very different way that you have never seen before. I'll give you one example, but if you want to watch a detailed video on AI canvas, then you can click on the I button or there are two videos that are given in the description down below. Just to show you how it works. To upload the image, you need to click on this upload image tab and then you can upload image from a computer from previous generations from community. Let's upload an image from community. I'll click on this image. Now let's decrease the size of the image in order to fit it in the bounding box. After the size of the image has decreased, just click on the bounding box and we are going to expand the image. So just place the image. One thing before placing the bounding box is click on snap. This will help you place the box in a more efficient way. So we can expand this image and make it look like it was never a smaller image. So just write Add structure and then click on generate and see what happens. And it added some similar structure to this portion of the image as well. To finalize the image, click on accept. And you can do the same thing in the leftover portion of the image. And you can expand the image as much as you want. It generates four options even for this one. So you can browse through options and see what works best for you. I think this option is okay. So I'll click on accept. Another feature it has is we can add or subtract some part of the image by clicking on mask. 
So this tail is very unwanted in the image. So I'll draw a mask on this tail and then drag this box on the area that we want to edit and then click on generate. I've typed in remove. You can experiment with different prompts, different wordings in order to get some better results. Let's see. And the tail was removed. This also has some options that we can choose from. Click on accept. And this is our final image. Once again, if you want to see a detailed video on how to use the AI canvas, then click on the I button or click the link in the description. I have made two videos previously explaining how to use the AI canvas more efficiently. This was a complete guide on how to use Leonardo.ai. This was it for the video and I'll be back with another video with some more AI related content.